So let's take this piece of paracord and we're going to make a loop like that. All right. Okay. Now this one, twist that underneath. We make this loop on top. We're going to hold that. Take this one around the back. Go under. Then we're going to come out here. Okay, now when I have this, when I flip it upside down, there's a square. See that square right there? So then we're going to see how big we want this loop. We're going to adjust that more. Bring this around the front. Bring it through that square. This one, bring around the back through that square as well. Now we're going to pull these. And there is our knot. Okay. So, got two pieces of paracord here and need to start out so I'll show you one thing we're going to do with this we're going to take a small piece cut it then we're going to want a second small piece we're going to cut that now what we want to do with this is pull out the inside okay we want that really flexible pull this out don't need that. We'll pull it out on this one. And then we are going to set this aside. Let's trim off that piece I heated up. And let's set this aside. Okay. And what we're going to want to do with this, we want to kind of flatten that out. I'll show you why afterwards. Okay, we'll set that aside for right now. Now, we're going to do the same knot with this one. Go underneath. This one goes like that. Comes around. Tucks down back up and through here and then underneath we're going to have that square or diamond this will need to go down and this one comes around the back should have a longer piece to work with goes through here. Okay, now what we're going to want to do, because this is where we tighten it up and we're going to see this top part, we're going to make that a little bit smaller. Okay, now what I'm going to want is I need a little bit of slack because I need to get these pliers through there, right through the center of this. Come on, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, now I'm going to open this up, grab one of these we made, pull it through. Okay, this, and let's use a green carabiner for this, okay? So, these are going to be Yoda's ears. I'll show you what we'll do with that. So we'll put the carabiner on. 
after we're finished. Okay, now these are gonna be his hands. So with the brown one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna twist this one that way. And this one over the top. I have a little bit more to work with on this one. Bring this around underneath, back up. Now, what I'm going to do different on this, I'm leaving that. Now, this one I'm going to bring around just like I did the other one. Get through the bottom. This one comes around the back, goes through the front. Now what I want to do before I cinch this up, these two I'm going to feed through that same spot. Okay, so now the trick with this, okay, so now you can start seeing how it's going to be Yoda. So what we're gonna wanna do is I don't need this. So I'm going to feed this through and pull that through at the end. Now I'm not gonna get this super tight yet because I need to feed the arms through this just like I did the ears. So as I pull this, I'm leaving it a little bit loose and then at the very end, I'll really crank this tight. So now let's see which one. So that is going to pull Again, I'm not pulling that super tight because now we're going to do the same thing. Let's do this. Open up. Pull that through. Okay, now. Now we're going to heat these up and melt these. Okay, so here's where we're at. We have the arms, we have the ears. Now we're going to leave, we're going to cut this because we're going to make tiny little feet. Right, but we're going to cut this with enough where we're going to be able to melt that and really smash it down. Okay, so that's all melted. Now for the feet, all we're gonna do is tie a knot and get it as close to the body as possible, okay? And work with about 16 inch pieces, that's what I do. It's good to have pliers on hand. And, okay, so I tied it both. There are the feet. Now let's melt them to finish it off. We have those, throw out that. If you want to keep that paracord for another one, you can, because it'll come in handy. Uh, same with the small sections of brown. So then what we still want to do, so there's our little Yoda guy. Now let's make sure these are flat, okay? And that gets kind of hot. Okay, we'll do the same with the arms so on this one for the ears I'm 
need to make them pointed. Okay. So there's one ear. Now let's do the other one. And the trick to this is don't cut it exact. Try to cut it a little bit longer, if anything, because you can always cut off more. You can always add. But this one actually came out pretty good. And we can always pull from one side if we need to. Okay. So there's his ears. And now let's do, all we're gonna do for his hands is we're just gonna cut these straight. Oop, don't wanna pull that too much. Now what we'll do and let's add a little bit. Okay. Behind the ears. In the ears, behind the hands, and let's do the feet. This should stay because we melted that paracord. There is your baby Yoda keychain with hands and feet. <laughs>